Hello and welcome back to Fallout, where I have finally found where that junk down was by loading up an old save and looking where it is. And wow, I remembered completely wrong. Now, you might remember that this here is Necropolis, and I thought it cannot be this far south. Well, Technically, it isn't, but it's here, so it's very close to Necropolis. See, I remembered that Junk Town was way up. I remembered that Junk Town was right about here, and I also remembered that Necropolis was way down here, but no. So this is it. You better put that away. Junktown is a friendly place, friend, and we don't we want to keep it that way. Put what away? Oh yeah, I'm like I can't like have my uh brass knuckles around. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, so now we are in Junk Town and we will overwrite this old save which I used to locate it. Okay, um... We have a lot of stuff, way more stuff than I should have at this rate. And we still have 96 days left for the water chip, so that's good. Ish. <laughs> okay, so... I wasted more days than I'd like, but we can make this work. We have to. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <sighs> okay, got in. <clears throat> and now... I want to loiter around and not press that button, press this button. So loiter around until 6. And... Go questing straight away. Now... This is a multi-area town and we want to go here, first of all. We also want to... I think there's a place here I wanna go to. It's not here. Okay, well, we'll do that later because there's an event I don't wanna miss. Oh, the door is locked. Uh... Okay, yeah, okay, the store isn't open yet. What if I were to rest for an hour? Okay, now it's open. And th this here is Killian now. <sighs> now, if you, well, if you've played this, you probably, or if you're at an, uh, yeah, if you're my age, and you've played this game, you recognize this voice, but see if you do, actually. Can I help you? The name's Killian, Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? Hmm. Killian's a good guy. Oh, yeah, sure you do. And when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Ain't the worst story I've been told. So, what can I do for you? Yeah, so... <sighs> People don't really know here that walls exist. 
then again, if you're from Vault 13, you don't really know the rest of the world exists as such. Uh... Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Mm. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okay. Uh, ah, this event. Okay. You're gonna shoot back. And I am gonna step in. Pull out my brass knuckles. And hit you in the groin. There we go. Wow, that was actually excellent. 18 damage. That turned out just amazing. Because now that you're downed, you actually do not uh, have any dodge. You earn 400 experience for helping Killian fight off the assassin. You have gained a level. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. Way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Mm. i tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yes. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. And that right there is uh, Richard Dean Anderson. So, a.k.a. Mac. Giver, <laughs> which probably doesn't uh, mean anything unless you're really like someone who either, you know, grew up in the 80s to 90s or just, uh, you know, likes old stuff like I do, like this video game. <laughs> Okay, so new level and we get a perk. No need that. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. You cause plus two points of damage with hand-to-hand -hand and melee attacks for each level of this perk. That's useful. And that is also good. Each level of this perk will increase your intelligence by one for purposes of dialogue only. So I would get what? Eight intelligence? In, for dialogue purposes. That's actually good. But Swift Learner. Best purchased at an early level. Yes, indeed. 5% bonus experience. That's also useful. But I am gonna get Smooth Talker. Actually, Intelligence 9. That's more than I needed. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, it's fine. So... We want to increase our speech and start working on repair soon. 
Actually, yeah, let's do repair already. Let's increase it to 60. We're fine on speech as it is for now. Okay, um, actually, before I go... Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? I well, want to buy something. Coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. Okay. You have a lot of money. You don't have a lot of items, but you have a lot of money, which is just as well, because I have a lot of stuff I want to unload. Uh, I want this. I want all of these. I want all of this. And I want all of this. And I want all of this. So 2800. Easy. All of these, 24, 27. Oh, let's give you this, 27. I have three pistols, 3000. I can take something off. Probably a spear. 29, 29, 28, 68. Okay, let's give you that extra knife. Why not? It's not that important. There we go. That is indeed a good trade. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Done. And we shall read this for funsies. Our survival increased. Let's save again. Okay, so. Now that that event's done, we have a bit of leeway. We could do the crash house. <laughs> Couple thousand in just four to five hours. Okay, thanks for the info. Some background. Okay, um, you want to. Go here and actually recruit someone that's also probably gonna die real soon. So talk to you. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't go killing the dog. I want to do this. So this is a Mad Max reference. There we go. You earn 100 experience for helping Phil solve his canine conundrum. And you see a dog, he seems to be following you. Okay, can I talk to you? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, apparently this game, he doesn't have a name. Uh, like, um, I believe the can, uh, canonically the dog is called Dog Meat. And this is a, like a reference to Mad Max. Like, the easiest way to solve that little quest and gain yourself an ally is to just wear a leather jacket. 
Or you could give the dog food, I believe. I don't remember if it if iguana on a stick is enough, which is why I bought it earlier. Or if you need like uh, like a kebab stick, kind of dealio. Let's see, 16 AC, 23 AC, okay, this is definitely better. Okay, and here is Gizmos. I'm gonna speed things up because I know what I'm doing, but yeah. We are helping Killian with this, so I should have enough speech and charisma. Oh, put your piece away, whoops. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. No, go away. Okay, fine. What do you want? I'm a busy man. And this is voiced by Jim Cummings, who is also one of my favorite. Like, well, I, that sounds like I'm saying Richard Dean Anderson is one of my favorite uh, voice actors, but no, uh, like in general, Jim Cummings, I really like his voice work. Uh, we shall choose this. I don't know what you're talking about. Such as... And let me guess, you're that someone? Well, how can I trust you? <laughs> All right, we can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me. <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? <laughs> You're either real stupid <laughs> okay. or a real stupid spy. <laughs> Okay, I, I remember that that answer uh, gives you something, but I forgot it's, it gives you a fight. Can we actually do this? Have I saved lately? Actually, I think oh, everyone has aggroed, but you know. Because I also don't remember if you needed to activate the uh, wire. Okay, I can't actually get through your armor. I need to save. Uh, okay. Oh, load a save. Okay, I like... Oh, sorry. That was silly. Real silly. But yeah, even with a good speech skill, you can just fail if you're an what idiot you like me. I'm a busy man. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Such as, and let me get, well, how can I trust you? <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Okay, now we will see whether I had to actually activate a tap before talking to Gizmo. I don't think you do, because I don't remember ever doing it. But soon we shall see. So, did you get the evidence? Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Mm. 
Right, I'll take all the steam packs you can Hell, spare. Thanks again. Well, listen, I'm gonna take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now listen, this town owes you a lot. Okay. And that was worth 500 EXP. Uh, and which also proves that I didn't have to manually activate the tap. Uh, are you lost? Or whoever. Okay, so the thing here is that Where's Izo? Are you alone in here? That's a first. That that really is a first. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be a first also because I've never done this on melee. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, nice combat. I didn't get any EX. I did. <laughs> I did nothing. And here's 500 caps. Okay, good. Now, the next thing to do... is to go back to the casino to loot Gizmo's body. And you actually get some good stuff, at least money-wise. I'm not sure how good it is. Otherwise, because I, I usually just sell the stuff. Uh, where is it here? Okay, and you're here too. Oh, everyone's... Oh, Izo's here. Oh, yes, I wanted this. Yes, please. So, now our damage is 4 to 15. Nice. And <laughs> here's Killian just leaving. Okay, the place is empty. That's interesting. I've never had that happen that Iso is there dead. Usually Iso joins the fight. And yeah, this Mauser actually, I believe, is worth a lot of money. And there you have those uh, iguana on a stick. Isn't this also an iguana on a stick? Yes, it's just shaped differently. So that is indeed the item you need. You can also give to, <clears throat> to dog meat. Did you have... The door is locked. I am really bad at lock picking. Yeah, you were not able to pick the lock because I don't have... I didn't invest in lock picking. So I can't see, I don't remember if the shelf has any books I'd want to take. Box of noodles, no thank you. There might be something because it's locked, but oh well. So now we could just leave if we wanted to. Like, uh, I mainly, I usually only come for this quest, crab, dog, meat, uh, and sell some stuff to get money, because you're gonna need money sooner or later. Uh, for a thing I'm about to do, I don't know how this, I'm realizing that because I know what I am wanna do here and sorta 
because I never went to talk to Gizmo at all, so I don't know how to a viewer who isn't familiar with the game how this is gonna look like, like just speeding through. And that's just me not thinking things through in advance. Mm. Okay, can I actually do this for once? Because I believe this is a quest. And for once I've invested in melee. Hello. Talk to Gustafa if you wanna bet. No, oh, I thought I could actually. I think I lost. Oh, I don't know. I thought I can. Oh, ah, just as well. Let the fight begin. Oh, there we go. I thought I could uh, join myself, but I guess not. I've never done this, by the way. Oh, well, I lost. It's fine. Probably rigged anyway. Okay, so... I think there is a little bit more EXP I can get here. I don't need it, but I could. Because I believe if I talk to you... You actually know Saul. Uh, okay, no. Maybe I'm mistaking. I, th I thought someone knew. Saul. Is it you? Okay, maybe not. Am I really remembering this wrong? I might be thinking something else. Okay, I think I could just trial this. If I worked for Gizmo, I could trial these guys to go after Killian. Yeah. Okay, no, Killian's cool. Hmm. 
Let's see, anything I can do here? I could just move on to the next town if I wanted to. Like I keep saying. You are slightly wounded without a doubt. Yeah, am I? Yeah, I am actually, huh? But, uh, okay, let's just do this. You have a multi-tool which I want, unless I have one of my own. Yes, I do, so never mind. But I do want these. And I'll exchange them for this gun. How about that? Okay, was there something... ...shady down here? Yes. Ah. Uh oh. Okay, can I actually go report this? Yeah, it is locked. What a surprise. This is interesting though. I don't actually rem remember how to deal with this. Okay, I think that just warns him to leave. Okay, let's see if I can actually go report this. Okay, I mean, I got info on these skulls. I don't have proof, but I have info. And I can't report that. Unless I can do it to someone else. No, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Okay, what if I were to wrap this? Uh, of course, that's what I hear. Nope, can I get this? Nope. Okay. Nice. Hmm. I've never done this like this. Okay, I can't do anything there. Well, I got your gun. <laughs> the same things. Iguana on a stick. I guess the other iguana on a stick is, looks like an iguana, so you know it's actually an iguana. 
not something extra. Now what is the dark gonna? Yeah. Oh, he went down. Okay, so I didn't mean it to turn out this way, but hey, fallout. <laughs> uh, if you if you wanna be the evil guy, then you can be the evil guy. Not that I meant to, but sure, exp is exp, I guess. My and well, I guess I could just have some fun for once. After all, I'm playing a melee character already, which I don't usually do. I wonder if the guards are gonna do anything now. <laughs> this, this this like playthrough is turning out really weird, but I kind of like it. I'm not fully uh, trying to live with my consequences, but I'm trying to reduce. Oh, the 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 the, the ladder shifted. I've never seen that before. The ladder actually shifted. Behind the locker. Okay, I've never seen that before. And if I click, the, I can click them and he... <laughs> oh, hello. You have a big gun. Big scary gun. Oh, the game crashed! Yeah, figures. So that is also a thing about Fallout. It 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 crashes. <laughs> hey, uh, well, just as well this episode is running long anyway. So I think we can call it here, and in the next one, hopefully not crash again, and you know, move on somewhere else. <laughs> So see you all in the next one.